Hello and welcome to our method tutorial series on creating a basic app. In the previous video, we created a new screen in our Cars app. Now we'll style it. Let's open up our Cars app to get to the screen we edited in the last video. Remember this? It doesn't look that nice. Let's style it. Select the gear in the upper right corner and select the customize link to get to the screen designer. The first thing we'll do is remove the large section 1 header at the top of the screen. Select the gray area of section 1 to edit the properties of the section. Note, there is a difference between selecting the whole section and selecting an individual cell of the section. Note how the properties on the right changes depending on whether I select the header or the cell. Make sure you select the top gray bar to get the properties of the section. Ok, let's change the caption of the section to sec main. Then I will uncheck show header title bar so we can't see it. You may wonder why I'm renaming it if I'm hiding it. But it helps when you start having multiple sections on the screen. Ok, next up is padding. Padding is the space inside the edges of the section. By increasing it, we can make sure the controls inside the section aren't too close to the edge of the screen. If you scroll down, you will eventually find padding. And you can set the padding for each side of the section. We'll set it all to 1x. Next up, we'll add some columns. Add 3 more so there are a total of 4 columns. Select the first cell in the first column. In its properties, note we can change the width of the column, amongst other things. I'll put in 25 and then select percent. Let me save what I have so far. You may be wondering why I added those columns. The fields stretched all the way across the screen. If I look at the preview now, you can see the width of the fields are more reasonable. That's why I added in the extra columns. Ok, let's go back and fix the fields themselves. Select the contact drop down to bring up its properties on the right. Hide the caption and then change the placeholder text to select a driver. When I preview, you can now see the caption is gone, but we can still see what this field is supposed to contain by the placeholder text. Let me go back and do the same for the other fields. Select car name, hide caption and change placeholder text to car name with a space. Next, select car make, hide caption, placeholder is select make. Select license plate, hide caption and change its placeholder to license plate. You may have noticed I put the word select in for drop down fields. This is common for drop down fields. And for is active, I'll treat it differently. I'll select it and change its caption to active with a question mark. Save again, do a quick preview and it's all good. In the next video, we're going to add the navigation section so we can add in a backlink. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye bye.